Hello everyone, uh, today let's design a, a digital marketing agency website with WordPress and Elementor Website Builder. Okay, and I have already installed uh, and set up the WordPress, latest version of WordPress, WordPress uh, 5.8. Tim, we're going to use uh, WordPress default 2021 plugins. We're going to use Elementor Website Builder, Free, Elementor Header Photo Builder, Sticky Header Effects for Elementor, Matte Form, Jack Elementor Kit. Okay. And for this dupli uh, duplicate page is not mandatory. It is just to uh, replicate pose, uh, pose sample post that I have created. Okay, here. I have created six portfolio uh, posts in portfolio category and six sample blog posts in blog category here in the categories of this uh, post type here I have created two, cat uh, yeah, two categories actually it is um, better it is better to get a custom post type for the portfolio but most of the element uh, uh, post widgets post widgets uh, do not uh, have access to uh, other custom post types except for post this default post type so to yeah to get access in the query setting of this post widgets uh, let's uh, create the portfolio pages with default post tab in the portfolio category okay and here pages i have created seven pages home page as the front page about us page blog page callback request for the uh, this it is get code or callback request this is a form page contact space and portfolio page this is the page that in, uh, listed all the uh, portfolio category uh, blog posts and these services services space okay that's it and with this pages I have created a menu here view all pages select all and add to menu and here is all the pages that I have created and create a menu primary menu okay and in the settings starting from reading okay I have set the home page as the front page in the yeah here and media I have also changed the default thumbnail size from 150 pixels to uh, 300 pixels uh, square pixels and medium size from 300 to 640 square pixels and last size from 1024 to uh, 200 to 2500 uh, sorry 2500 yeah, square pixels in permanent links I have set the permanent link to post name. Okay, that's it. That's all I have done uh, so far in the setup. So let's start designing. This is the template where we're going. Uh, we are going to refer, uh, or we're going to replicate. Yeah, we'll not uh, copy 100% of this template, but the layout and the content arrangement uh, will refer to this template so here go to appearance and element header footer builder and let's add header header template H 
header print their website for all users remember the canvas publish okay it did with elementor for the header we have try again and again we have designed in mo most of the header settings we have done in in all my video series are almost the same here we uh, insert two column section like this but get a line middle let's add padding about 150 to the top sorry 150 to the bottom then sticky header effects enable it transparent header yes and background color okay is fine leave it to white okay and bottom border okay one picture border color I'm not seeing it okay now site title or site logo okay now I have not set uh, default color settings so let's go to site settings and let's set the font colors global colors okay I don't like this primary for these headings let's choose black okay accent let's choose for the pick color history i have few options here let's choose this one or here okay orange color okay I'm dead it. Let's go back to the editor. For, for the phones, let the default roboto. I don't want to sense it. Okay, this is the header. Then navigation menu. Okay, here. If you have uh, sub menus, then insert enable this option. If not, you do not need to bother this option. Now, right align uh, default last menu item button. Okay, this one. Okay, layout come back mm -hmm. style. okay then there's not much to sense here what we can do we can mac we can reduce the phone quite a little increase the space between a little this or 
Well, in the video, keep the phone weight to about 500 and let's try to reduce the phone size instead 20 oh too much okay 16 okay then color okay then button okay. button it should be white okay then border radius 30 or 150 same I think same so leave it now hover on hover we can sense the background color to black like this okay for the responsive set the logo column to 70 percent then this navigation to 30 percent okay and that it go back to the dashboard let's design the footer at new footer footer menu uh, footer template in their website all users element a canvas publish is it will end most of my web design uh, tutorials are meant for uh, beginners or those element of free users if you are interested element of pro version of this video series you can leave a comment section below i will make a video series about yeah element of pro version or a specific add-on plugin version even if you want to have other uh, page builder versions of this video series you can also do that you can uh, in, in send me a video request okay now footer to column section about 100 at the top 100 at the bottom background color okay then copyright what color then next social icons right align style custom color primary color transparent secondary color white icon size we can reduce a little size to 30 oh too much 20 okay icon hover okay make it align go to a section setting vertical align middle so that they can align at the same line for the responsive make it align centered and same here make it align centered we can even go to the uh, here section setting go to advanced responsive uh, reverse columns and mobile tablet okay and 
update it and we are done for this video we have set up the WordPress we have designed a header and a footer this is minimal minimalistic simple headers headers and footers and let's start designing the home page in the upcoming next video thanks for watching this video i hope you like it and i hope you find it helpful